Oh, yeah, I want to show you how to strip. Some people don't know. They want to sew with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, how to split this down. And that's the fake? Yeah, this sinew? is a simulated sinew. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is when we split it, you have mm -hmm. to split it down, otherwise it's way too thick. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of like... Yeah. Now with real sinew, um, do you ever get to work with? Uh, real? Not very much. Because yeah. <clears throat> I believe that this is what they're going to be te using, yeah, teaching the they kids. Yeah. They're going to be using this and they need to know to split this down. Yes. That's the first step. Yes. Just get mm -hmm. all your thread ready. Mm -hmm. I have one already threaded needle on the needle. Mm -hmm. And I don't double it. Okay. And then to tie it, tie my knot at the end. Mm -hmm. I just go one, two, three, four. See, it's just wrapped around mm -hmm. it, and then pull it. Mm -hmm. And there's there's my little knot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Snip that off. <clears throat> Now with this one, I'm going to work um, just a straight running stitch. That's okay. in and out, in and out, in and out. But okay. before we do that, this is very important. This needs to be folded like this, mm -hmm. to, for, this for the waterproof stitch. Mm -hmm. This, so you'll fold this one first like this. Mm -hmm. And then this one will be folded like that. Mm -hmm. So that when I get started, these two mm -hmm. are together. Okay. Like this. All right. So it's, when I poke my needle through, it's going to be through four okay. layers. All right. I like to hide my knot mm -hmm. inside. So the knot is not seen on the outside anywhere. Okay. Okay. So when I do this, I want to get close, somewhat close to the edge. Mm-hmm. Right here. This is the simple stitch. This mm -hmm. is without decoration. Mm-hmm. So it's just going to be in and out. Kind of like it's and that could be used like in uh, making garments, waterproof mm -hmm. garments. Mm -hmm. That's what this stitch is. So we just go back and forth. You're just making a running stitch. Mm -hmm. And you work your way all the way down. This would be step number one for skin sewing with a waterproof stitch okay. on the intestines. Okay. And you could kind of see how to keep this straight. It mm -hmm. takes practice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a couple of photos in between here. I'm going to okay. pretend we went to the end. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to sew inside. Now I'm going to 
going to sew. <clears throat> I do the one, two, three, four, pull, so I get my knot. And then I'm going to hide my knot once again inside. Mm -hmm. My knot is hidden inside once again mm -hmm. so that we can't see it. Now I'm going to take my grass and I'm going to put it in between that one. Can you see how my grass is in there? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay, now I'm going to start sewing it. Now I'm going to do a whip stitch. And did you just go through the grass? Yeah. I just went through all of it right okay. now just to get started, okay. just to secure it down. And now we're going to keep that grass in the seam mm -hmm. and I'm going to make stitches sewing these two, two seams together. But no grass? No, I mean, gra it's no grass. Under it. yeah, the grass is in between okay. the seams. Of course, I would pull them tighter. So this is what I'm going to do the entire length of the seam. Mm -hmm. And when I get to the end of my grass, then I'll pick up more and add it in there. Mm -hmm. Usually what I like to do, if, it, if this were a bigger, bigger garment, mm -hmm. you take this and you just twist it. Okay. And that helps to strengthen it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then when you need to add more, then you're just kind of like twisting it when you put it in there. Okay. Okay. So... Here we go. I'm going to put this back in here and just keep whip stitching. All the way down. So that we get <clears throat> this. When we're finished with this part right here, mm -hmm. and we sew all the way down, this is what it's going to look like in the okay. end. And then I've got my two pieces together. Okay. And that's that's the waterproof stitch. Okay. And at what point did you add those black? Um... And then now what I'm going to do on this side, mm -hmm. which it, is the right, the right side, side the right side out. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do this and put these things in there. Okay. The fancy dangles. Like okay. at one time they they could have used anything. They could have used yarn, mm -hmm. thread, hair. Mm -hmm. Even hair was uh, put into their garments. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is going to be called couching. Okay. When we put another piece of thread in there. Okay. Okay. So what I do is. I'll take something like this, which is got a. Uh, you could just use anything that I, I I believe they used whatever was available. Mm -hmm. So I'll cut three of these, so that um, we can see how I add a pattern mm -hmm. to it. 
and it's really nice because you know you can they can use red and other colors mm -hmm. they, can, they can even experiment with hair mm -hmm. I do have some hair here if we want to experiment with it <laughs> <laughs> Because you could get those, you know, that people can um, uh, keep their hair from their haircuts mm -hmm. and wow. add them to mm -hmm. it. The Aleutic people from Kodiak Island, any of the um, pictures that we viewed over in St. Petersburg, mm -hmm. it seemed like they really, the native people of Kodiak Island, Chugach area, and mm -hmm. down the Aleutians, they really liked using white hair, elders' hair. Oh, really? For some reason, they liked there's, you know, there. We don't know why they did that, but I would think it was because, you know, they just honored their elders. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, what I'm going to do, is do a do a little bit of couching. Okay. I'm going to put this here. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is sewing that down mm -hmm. see how the stitch just went mm -hmm. right over it okay now don't do anything with this just come back up from the other side right next to it mm -hmm. bend this one over mm -hmm. And couch that down. Mm. And that's simple. Yeah. Something that looks so complicated is very, very simple. Actually, the whole thing is simple. It just looks complicated. Mm. So that comes up. And I'll do just the plain stitching. The running stitch. Yeah, the running stitch. You don't have to um, so that goes there that's just like this right here mm -hmm. and then I'll do one more stitch one more stitch and add another piece once again you just hold that down And you secure it by making your running stitch right over that one. Mm -hmm. There, see? Mm -hmm. and I'll pull that down. And then I'll make two more stitches, just plain ones going straight across, trying to keep these even down here and up here. Mm -hmm. go. One more. Oh, here. Let's just pull this over. Mm -hmm. so there mm. we go. That looks so pretty. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be nice and red? Mm-hmm. <laughs> say what that is and yeah. why it's done. <clears throat> this is just a decorative stitch. Okay. I don't think it's done as part of it be making it a waterproof garment. Mm -hmm. It's just a decorative stitch and anything could be used. You know, I could I could use this. I could use red yarn, red thread. Mm -hmm. And um, once again, this is just the couching stitch. Mm -hmm. And that is the black yeah. Dried black the black. cod. Yeah, this is the black cod right mm -hmm. here. Um, which is this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, once again, it's just a running stitch that's coming up, going down. Mm -hmm. Coming up and going down. Okay. okay. So basically that's what that is. And it looks complicated. Mm -hmm. I think every, all of this stuff looks more complicated mm -hmm. than it really is. So I'm going to um, do a running stitch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back up and 
and then I'm going to loop this over see see mm -hmm. how it got looped over yep mm -hmm. okay now I'm going to poke down and it's going to couch that there it's gonna um, make the stitch stay so that I have all of these loops like that mm -hmm. Okay, this is going to be a good mm -hmm. shot. See? Very nice. Mm -hmm. And I have to do it on the other side as well. Mm -hmm. On this side. So, let's couch it down by poking that through. Mm -hmm. Remember, once again, it's just in and out mm -hmm. in and out so we're going to pull this through hmm. so there we go now i'm back on this side again so now i have to pull this over This gets pulled over. Mm -hmm. Poke through. Couch it down. Pull. Come back up. loop it so we get that nice little U shape mm -hmm. couch it down I think you got it mm-hmm 